Well, one local camp is helping athletes focus on improving their skills safely. Lori Wallace is live in Fair Oaks to learn more about vision soccer training. Yes, Code, and I'm going to learn about it. I'm not going to do anything because oh, there on. are two things that I cannot do on TV anymore now that my kids are older. Oh, too embarrassing. They've told One, you. TikTok dancing. Mm -hmm. To soccer. That's their sport. <laughs> I can't. It's just embarrassing. So I have James here to talk about it with me a little bit because this is a great camp. You guys have uh, several kids out here this morning. School's out for yeah, certain districts. Yeah. So this camp is uh, for some of the youngers. Yeah, this is a striking goalkeeper camp, Laurie, specifically focusing on um, the striking and goalkeeping side of the game. A lot of fun for the kids working a lot on goal scoring and saving goals, two of the, the key aspects of the game. So uh, we have this running here in Fair Oaks, another camp in Rockland uh, this week for, for those kids who are lucky enough to be out for the full week. Yes. Yes. OK, so what ages do we have out here this morning? We have eight to, I'd uh, say, nine to 11 year olds out here this morning. Um, yeah, all local players from, from the local area. Yeah, yeah all so. different skill levels, I'm it's, assuming. And, and you guys are able to do this uh, with COVID. It certainly changed the way you do things, but you're able to still make it work. Yeah, we have a number of modifications. All the kids have their own kind of station when they arrive to put their belongings. Um, we, we have social distancing throughout the kids are set up so they're spread out uh, we can't get into any contact activities any uh, regular scrimmaging and that kind of thing yet hopefully that's uh, so there's changes in in the works there but uh, right now we're just following all of the guidelines making sure the kids like I say have their own space making sure they're spread out when they're doing activities um, keeping them uh, safe and, and keeping them active and healthy and engaged uh, during this you know, difficult time for, for everyone sir so. yeah and it's a little bit harder to do that right now with kids uh, a lot of them not in their sports not going to school so getting them off the screen and getting them outside is huge. Now, you guys have a lot of camps coming up for spring and summer, so if people are at home watching this right now thinking, hey, I need to get my kids into something like this, there's a lot of opportunities. Yeah, there sure is. We have monthly clinics. We're in the middle of our, uh, our February uh, sessions right now. We have March clinics coming up throughout the Sacramento area. Um, then in, during spring break, we have camps coming up. We have camps in Folsom and Roseville during spring break. Then uh, once summer hits, we have camps throughout the Sacramento area. Um, and and, you know, all of those details are now online. We do actually have early registration discounts in place until the end of April uh, for all of our summer programs. Um, the camps are a lot of fun. We have camps for kids from, we have programs for kids from three years old who are completely new to the game, all the way up to, you know, kids who are uh, older and, and playing at a higher level. Yes. Okay. VisionSoccerTraining.com. That's where people can find it. Also, they do futsal. So if your kids are into that, they have some outdoor courts they're using right now. But hopefully sooner than later, they'll be able to bring that indoors as well. Guys, back over to you. Oh, Sounds so much cooler saying Roseville than I do. <laughs> it's true. He does say it way better than you do. <laughs> My neighborhood just sounded so much more classier. Uh, thanks, Lori. You're